día. Yalini. Tanmaya. Aradhya. Deshna. Anika. Anchanasya. We have Diya's little brother, Krishna, who would like to sing a small prayer for all of us. Shamale Meenakshi Sundareshwara Sakshi Shankari Guru Guha Samut Bhave Shiveva Pamara Mochani Pankaja Lochani Patmasana Vani Hari Lakshmi Vinu Te Shambhavi Shamale Meenakshi Thank you Krishna. That was lovely. Salanga Puja is ceremony honoring the Salange or the ankle bells of the dancer. The most auspicious item of dancer's costume. The dancer receives the Salange from her guru, wearing it for the first time. The dancer takes her first steps onto the stage to tell the audience that she has learned and is beginning to understand the divine and beautiful rhythm and movement of Bharatanatyam. It doesn't say that dancer is master of the master of the art, but it does say that she has learned and understood the basics of her art. She is ready to receive her ankle bells and she is ready to take her first steps into journey of discovery of dance. Like the first few words written on a paper of a great story, this is a journey. The dancer bow before the God and seeks the blessing of the remover of obstacles. They bow before the divinity seeking blessings. I request all the dancers to come onto the stage to render the prayer song. Okay, the dancers, uh, can we have you on the stage, please, for the prayer songs? Thank you. 
Now we will have an invocatory song that is called a Mallari. This is usually played by the Nadiswaram artist in temples. It starts with syllables which slowly increase in speed and then comes back to the slow speed. This is set in Ragam Gambhir in Attai and Chatushra Ekatalam. So please put your hands together for Mallari. Tom, 
So this time, the, the difference that I've seen in the Salanga Puja students is that we have very young students, more younger than what we had in the previous group. We have Abhishekta, who's only in the second grade, Diya, Deshna, all of them very, very young students who have reached this milestone very quickly. And that is a different thing this time. And as we already we read out in the beginning, this is not to show that they have become experts in this art form or anything like that. It is just that they are ready to receive the salange from me. In most other dance classes, the salange is just something that is given when the child just gets on stage for the very first time, the salange is given to them to wear. I believe that it is something that one has to be worthy of wearing, one has to work towards it, and I think they have to realize that nothing is easy in life, that unless you work, you cannot get the reward. And the Salange, which we look at it as something so precious, that is why every Saraswati Puja, it is part of our Puja. I'm a, I've done my Arangetram 36 years ago. And still we pray to the Salange as part of our Puja. We take it out on Vijayadasmi and all the students who have done their Salange Puja, who have done their Arangetrams, it is customary for them to come to see their teacher, keep the uh, Salange in, in front of the teacher, give it to her, take it, wear it, and dance. And that is something if you see in Chennai, you will see everybody rushing from corner to corner, going to see their teachers, even if they are, even if, I mean, if, if I'm going to be 50 years old, I still go to see my 80-year-old teacher. So whether I'm dancing, whether I'm not dancing, it is part of our custom, it is part of the tradition. And the whole thing about Bharatanatyam is keeping the traditions alive. It is not about doing the latest things, but keeping all our old traditions and what Kalakshetra believes in, and that is what I stand for, that we have to work towards it, and these children have worked hard. I mean, there might be small mistakes that they will do. They have not danced on stage in the last few years due to co COVID. I don't think they've ever gotten on stage, some of them. This is the first time they're even ever dancing, doing any Bharatanatyam program, some of them. This is the first time they started learning, and they've come, and this is the first time they're getting on stage. So. I think that a child has to do a certain number of items from a traditional margam. It is not about doing six, seven general songs, but the Tanjo Quartet or the Tanjo Brothers have set out a repertoire for all dancers to follow, which starts with the Pushpanjali, Alaripo, Jatishwaram, Kautuam, Shabdham, Varnam, Padams, and Tilana. And till date, we as dancers follow that particular order. And the children have to learn a few of those songs in order to get the salange, and not just any bhajan or anything. It's not about learning five random songs, but they have to be able to do that particular format. Because, and we believe that the Tanjo brothers gave it to us 
so many years ago, and till today, all Bharatanatyam dances across the world, we follow that same repertoire because it makes sense. See, anything that doesn't make sense, people would have stopped doing. That order has a certain importance to it. So gave the children to give them some instructions again. So that's why I'm talking. So, so the next item is the Alaripu. Again, a traditional item from the Margam. And this is like a warm-up piece for the entire recital, which starts with the movements of the neck, the arms, the shoulder, the knees. So it is kind of like a warm-up. And in the words of one of the most legendary Bharatanatyam dancers, Bala Saraswati, she says, the Alaripu is, is ba just based on rhythm alone, brings out the special charm of pure dance. The movements of Alaripu relaxes the dancer's body and thereby her mind, loosen and coordinate her limbs and prepare her for the dance. Alaripus can be in various rhythms, cycles. This is set to a three-beat cycle or what we call as tisram. And you will hear my voice saying the beats of the Alaripu along with the background music. We have a Tamil song on Lord Muruga, which is being sung in the background of this particular Alaripu from the Tirupugal. So I present the Alaripu now. <laughs> Did I 
Academy, our Guru Srimati Preeta Arun believes that learning theory is as important as learning this art form practically. To express the meaning of any song, we use hand gestures. Sometimes we use single hand gestures, which are called as Asimita Hasta, where we use just one hand, and sometimes we both both the hands, which are called as Samyutta Hastas. And um, when the gestures are made using one hand, it is called as single hand gesture which I just mentioned as Asamita Hasta. They were found in both in Natya Shastra by Sage Bharata and in Abhinaya Darpana by Sage Nandi Keshwara. The dancers will now show the various uses of Vinayogas, uh, which is our first mudra called as Pataka. And ma'am will tell the meaning so that every one of us can understand. Is the beginning of dance, rain clouds, a forest, to say no, chest, night sky, river, the sky, a horse, to destroy the wind, to sleep, go forward, great, to say something is there, the moonlight, suffering, closing and opening of the door, to address someone great, the ripples in the water, the street, entering a house, equality, showing your body, to show oneself, a promise, To do something stealthily or mischievously, writing a letter, a shield, touching the water, giving blessings, showing a king. to show each and every one, the river, the ocean, say something is okay, addressing one, moving forward, drawing a sword, to show a month, a year, the rainfall, sweeping, sweeping, 
And these are the single hand gestures. So that's what that means. Thank you, girls. You can go back. So as Vijay had said, so the single hand gestures as given to us in the Abhinaya Darpana, there are 28 single hand gestures and each of those gestures have a whole set of meanings like this. So obviously we cannot keep showing everything. So as the Salanga Puja is just a small sample of what they have learnt, not everything that they have learnt. So there is a Tripataka Vinayoga. Vinayoga means the uses. So this is the Pataka Vinayoga or the uses of the Pataka Mudra and how it is used. So why children have to learn this is the dance cannot be understood unless you know the actions and what they mean. And that is why Bharatanatyam is not so easy for a lay person to understand. I mean, you can, if we are told, you can kind of follow the story, but if you only if you know these actions and what they mean, you can actually make sense out of it. So that is why children are taught these hand gestures and their meanings and their uses. So as I said, there are 28 such um, gestures and 28 such uses and mudras and the vinyogas each one of them have about 20 20 uses so obviously we cannot show all of them this is the first and the most widely used mudra which is pataka so that's what we showed today now we have a pure dance number that is there are no expressions or stories that are being conveyed here we have jatis or pure dance sequences set to swaras or musical notes this Jatishwaram is set in Vasantaragam and Rupakatalam. <laughs> Thank 
The next item is Kautwam. This Kautwam is in praise of Lord Ganesha. Lord Ganapati, son of Parvati and Shiva, and the remover of obstacles. He has elephant head with a curved trunk and big ears and a huge pot-bellied body of a human being. It is in Ragam Nate and Adi Talam. It has both Nritta, which is footwork, and Abhinaya, expressions. Component, uh, both the components in this choreography. The next item is Shabdam. Shabdam is an item in which expressions or abhinaya are introduced for the first time in any item, in this item. The song is usually separated into stanzas and between each stanza you will have a simple core way or steps. Ayur Sheriyar. 
this this uh, shabdam describes the various aspects of krishna as he plays the flute in gokula he plays the flute and attracts gopikas unknown to the rest of the village krishna sneaks around and steals butter and distracts gopikas from their daily chores krishna's hair sways gently from side to side and his beautiful face glows as he plays the flute even the timid deer becomes mesmerized by his mayavan and forget their daily activities the gopikas are filled with joy upon hearing his music and run to him and surrender them themselves this shabdam is in ragamalika and mishra chaputalam <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Shri Ram, 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 Sh
We now come to the final item of Bharatnatyam Margam. It is the Tillana, a fast-paced, vibrant item. The Charnam at the end is praise of Goddess Kamakshi. Today's Tillana is in Ragam, Kannada and Rupakatalam. तुम कदारता नित धीरना धीरना तररारी तुम कदारता नित धीरना धीरना तररारी तुम कदारता नित Did 
Now we have Tamangalam, where dancers thank God, their guru, and the audience for, their, for this opportunity. Chandraya Janaka Raja Ja Manogharaya Mama Ka Bhishta Daya Mahita Mangadam Rama Chandraya Janaka Raja Ja Manogharaya Mama Ka Bhishta Daya Mahita Mangadam Kosale Saya Mandaka Sadasa Poshad Yavar 
ಬಸವಾದಿ ವಿನುತ ಸದ್ವರಾಯ ಮಂಗಳಂ ಚಾರು ಮೇಘ ರೂಪಾಯ ಚಂದನಾನು ಚರ್ಚಿತಾಯ ಹಾರ ಕಟಕ ಶೋಭಿತಾಯ ಭೂರಿ ಮಂಗಳಂ ದಲಿತ ರತ್ನ ಕುಂಡಲಾಯ ತುಳಸಿ ವನ ಮಾಲಿಕಾಯ ಜಲಜ ಸದೃಶದಾಧಿಶಾಯ ಚಾರು ಮಂಗಳಂ ವಿಮಲ ರೂಪಾಯ ವಿವಿಧ ವೇದಾಂತ ವೇದ್ಯ ಸುಜನ ಚಿತ್ತ ಕಾಮಿತಾಯ ಶುಭಗ ಮಂಗಳಂ ರಾಮದಾಸ ಮೃದುಲ ಹೃದಯ ತಾಮರಸ ನಿವಾಸಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಭದ್ರಗಿರಿವರಾಯ ದಿವ್ಯ ಮಂಗಳಂ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ಜನಕ ರಾಜ ಜ ಮನೋಹರಾಯ ಮಾಮಕಾಭೀತದಾಯ ಮಹಿತ ಮಂಗಳಂ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ಜನಕ ರಾಜ ಜ ಮನೋಹರಾಯ ಮಾಮಕಾಭೀತದಾಯ ಮಹಿತ ಮಂಗಳಂ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ಜನಕ ರಾಜ ಜ ಮನೋಹರಾಯ ಮಾಮಕಾಭೀತದಾಯ ಮಹಿತ ಮಂಗಳಂ ಮಹಿತ ಮಂಗಳಂ ಮಹಿತ ಮಂಗಳಂ Now I would like to request our Guru Srimati Preeta Arun to say a few words, please. I think performing in front of the teacher as well as the parents, it's, it's basically like supposing you studied for an exam and you went to write your paper and you have both your teacher and your parents just looking at the paper as you're writing every word. It's not that easy. And Today, the average age of these children is about, I think the average is about nine. So they have taken on a very tough challenge. <laughs> so because uh, in a school exam, you can just go write whatever you want, only you have to face the consequences only when the marks come back, you know? This is right there, there's everybody watching, teachers watching, parents are watching, but I think they're all happy because there's no longer any more practice. Parents, I think, are very happy. They don't have to come back on weekdays, traffic. I know some of the dads had a tough time. I know Chanasya's dad had to uh, come back from meetings. I know Tikul, many of them, I think, uh, coming between their office schedules and coming and waiting for the practice. Of course, I'd try to keep the practices as less as possible, as convenient as possible. We have had practices in our class even at 9, 10 o'clock in the night because our teacher was only free at that time. So uh, we, I don't do that. So they had a very reasonable time schedule of 5.30 to 7 on two days a week or three days a week. And just keeping in mind that the parents are busy to bring them and things like that. So I think they all did a decent job. <laughs> as a teacher, I think <laughs> that's as much. So, so I was telling them yesterday that, you know, Mangalam smile, no more practice can relax on the evenings, just have to come for class. And I think parents will be more happy it's over. So <laughs> relieved. So I'm just going to say a few words about some of them. The journey has been very easy, thanks to their mom's helping. Like I think Deshna's mom, Priya, was helping. You know, some of them are very interested watching the online classes, help them a lot. Deshna, Abhishekta's mother, of course, I think learned the art form itself, Hashmita. And uh, Anika, of course, has her sister at home. I don't know whether she likes it or not. My student Ankita is her sister. And uh, Dia, of course, has the mother, Ramya, at home. So for them, even easier with them helping. Chanasya, of course, had to do it all on her own, managed. And uh, Anandi, of course, also easily picked up. Ishita, had they moved to Singapore during COVID, quite faced quite a few challenges with, uh, first of all, the class timings. She had to do the class. I think it was much later in the day for you, right? And even the night, she, our evening time class, she had to do it in the night, and then the apartment people would complain if she made noise. And of course, uh, I have to say Adya. Mom, I think it's uh, Yamni's full and full effort, because Adya was away in their hometown in uh, where, uh, Rajasthan or somewhere for the Madhya Pradesh for like more than two, uh, two years nearly, and they had a lot of trouble with the neighbors complaining. I would see Adya one day wearing socks and dancing. I'm like, why are you wearing socks? And she'd be like, neighbors are complaining, my mother's fighting outside. And the other day she would be, uh, you know, she'd be sitting, dancing on a mattress. 
And then I'd be like, get off the mattress. She'd be like, no, it's making sound. Then one day I'm seeing her in a car park. You know, they put, so they didn't give up. I mean, they, you know, I was saying, please stop the class. Give her the child a break. They were like, no, she will continue whatever happens. So Adya was, thanks to Yami not giving up. So of course, Tanmay also, mom's pressure. Aradhya also traveled during COVID, but still persevered through it all. Yalini, quick, quick learner. And of course, as I said right in the beginning, Deshna's mom also, I think, trained her nicely at home. Of course, but without, you know, mothers can train, mothers can push, chil but children also have to do it at the end of the day. You can't just, mothers alone cannot do. But uh, I think they encourage them nicely at home, right? And uh, we had a lot of Arangatrans this year. And I think I'd have to specially mention Abhishekta's parents because I know it's very hard in today's schedules. You have little children at home to attend Arangatrams. It's not easy to attend every Arangatram. They brought her for every single one of them. She was there in all the Arangatrams, right, Abhishekta? Yes. <laughs> and apparently she wouldn't let them even leave even one. She would say she has to be there. And they had to come and attend every Arangatram. So I'm just saying that extra care, extra effort that they took, I appreciate it. But I do understand it's not possible for all parents to be attending all the Arangatrams. Just a few to motivate the kids would be good. So let me take this chance to hand out the certificates that they worked hard. This is the first certificate they're getting in the dance class. So I think they worked hard for that. Adya Modi. Aradhya Bhan. Abhishekta Sarkar. Anandi Roy. Anika Noor. Chanasya. Deshna. Diya. Ishita. Tanmaya and Yalini B. Respected and beloved Guru Preeta Arun, parents, esteemed guests, it's my honor to present the vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion. It's happy to see the children dance so beautifully and credit, of course, goes to Guru Preeta Arun. We can see the fruits of her tireless efforts today. I'm the mother of Dia. Uh, Ma'am, you have not only taught Bhardhanatyam, but also inculcated life skills like discipline, dedication, and hard work. 
for that the children are indebted to you forever on behalf of all the parents i thank you from the bottom of my heart lastly i pray ma saraswati shower her blessings on these children and take them to the greater heights in life thank you all ma'am all of them all the students have a small uh, uh, gesture for you they've got a small gift a token of love from all of them to you they would like to present it to you if you can go on to the stage ma'am parents you can come and take pictures if you want now the stage is all yours <laughs> 